Welcome everybody to this video on the Automator Plus. Uh, today we're gonna to be looking at reading in the CSV and adding some markers to the points in that CSV. Grab your jug of water and let's get going. Right, so today we are gonna be looking at importing a CSV. So a CSV is a comma separated file format. And usually you can get there with either Google Sheets or Excel. You can create your Excel sheets, um, but just be sure to go to save as, and then you're gonna to wanna to save as CSV. So although it says comma separated file, uh, most defaults uh, aren't comma separated, but rather semicolon separated. Um, so this is that exported file that I've got over here. And it doesn't really matter what the separator is. So we're gonna code up today how to actually split each of these lines into our different components. And then we're gonna be adding markers at these different timestamps. So this is great for sending and receiving feedback from some clients and they maybe got some timestamps for you to look at. Um, you can send them a sheet like this and just say, hey, fill in the timestamp in seconds, give me some comments, and then you can easily pull all of that into your timeline and add some markers for you to, to look at later. Um, so we got three columns in here, timestamp, name, and comment, and we are gonna go and add these as markers. So the first thing that we're gonna do is this little get CSV file, um, and this builds on the previous uh, videos that we had on files and folders, and we're just gonna use this file.open dialog, and we're gonna get our selected file. Here we are setting multi-select to false, because we only want one CSV file. So we're gonna get that, and then we're gonna do this little song and dance. So if we've got a file, right, so if there was a file selected, the guy didn't do uh, cancel. If we've got a file, um, let's go and open that file. Um, so that is a thing with files, um, is you've got to open them. You've got to tell the memory, hey, read all of that into RAM for me. So this dot open, and here you've got different types of openings that you can specify. Uh, we're just gonna be reading, so we've got an R there, but you can also write and append. Um, but we're just gonna open this file in read format. If it is successfully read, then this will return true, get us into this little if block over here. Um, and then I've created this variable content that just reads reads all of the string content within that file into content. And then if you've opened a file, always remember to close it. Usually when your JavaScript session ends, it will automatically close and clean up uh, after itself, but you can get some funkies if you don't close the file and get corrupted data. Okay, let's run this guy up to here. So we got CSV imports, boom, and we're here. This will prompt me for my file, and I've got this CSV over here, this marker comments. Cool, so let's see what is going on here in the debugger. So we've now created this content variable over here, and you'll see that that actually does have all of our files. So it's got the headings in there, it's got all, it's got everything, everything within the CSV file. Uh, but now we want to split this up into lines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this native dot split method on a string and split by the carriage return or the line break, depending on your Windows or Mac uh, on Windows, uh, your backslash n mileage might vary. Um, you can just look at using a backslash r there as well. So that just differs. Most of the time it's backslash n if it's a CSV and nice UTF-8 exports. Cool. So backslash n to go and split on our line breaks. So that's basically telling every enter that you see within this content file. So within this guy, every enter that you see go and split that up. So if we do that, we get our lines variable. Uh, over here, so there we go. So now we've split it up into lines. Um, and now we wanna go one further and we wanna say, okay, cool, this is nice and strings and all, uh, but we need arrays, we need JavaScript, we need programming things. So how are we gonna actually decompose these lines into what we want? Um, and that's what this little for loop over here is, is trying to achieve. Coolio, uh, so here we are now in all of these lines. So I created this little helper variable called line that gets the value of the first line. Um, and over here, I'm just storing the heading. So I'm saying, hey, if this is the first line, I know there's gonna be headings. Um, let's split on the semicolon um, and assign that to this header file. We're not actually gonna use this, uh, but we just need to make a distinction between what is headings and what is data. All right, so the first one, 
pops it into headings, um, as you can see. But now the nice thing is we've got it in an array, not just as a string. But for us, much more important is the data. So there we go and create this little helper variable record that does the same thing, splits on the semicolon and just assigns each of those values into a separate record. Um, and then we've got this global data array that we're just gonna add these arrays in. So we're gonna get an array of arrays, um, array of each of these records. Cool, there's record, nice and split. Um, and if we push that into data, we'll see that yes, data now does have uh, one entry and within that array we've got another array. So if I carry on to here and go to the next one uh, you'll see that as soon as we do that um, data will have an additional value. So it's got the three in there as well uh, but it's also got the the next record. Okay so if we continue with that I'm just going to stop that and we run it up to there. What that's going to give us is an array of array which each value within the array is these three pieces of information that we want. Where do we want to insert it? Uh, what's the name of the marker? And what's the comment that we want to add into the marker? Um, so that's this data guy over here. You see array, 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 and life is good. Now we've got our CSV read into extend script. Um, so there are a lot of packages out there that do CSV imports. You don't have to write this manual scripting as we've done here. Um, unfortunately, those are usually for uh, normal JavaScript, not extend script so much. And we're still in the process of figuring out how to import those libraries into extend script because that will change lives. Uh, but for now, we're going with the bare basics over here. Um, if you know how to do that, please drop in the comments. Cool. So now we want to go and add markers. So to do that, we've got a video on just adding markers, general things like that. Uh, but the basics is we're going to get a grip on the sequence item by going down this app project active sequence tree. Um, and then we're going to go get a hold of our markers. Cool. Um, then color lookup, that's just to create some different colors. Uh, the numbers over here correspond to which uh, number actually looks at in the Premiere Pro UI. So if you add a marker in the Premiere Pro UI, you go to edit marker, uh, these numbers is basically 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Cool. So what I've done here is I've said, okay, cool, we are going to have three different types of markers. This depends on your CSV, it depends on your setup. But I've said I want good, which is going to be this guy to be green, bad to be rose colored, right? So that's this one uh, over here. Just remember looking back at this, so zero, one, and then I've gone with improvements as orange. So this color lookup is just going to look up the actual index based on what I've got in my CSV. Okay, we're almost there. Uh, basically now what we've got to do is we've got to iterate through this data array, which is the array of arrays, and extract all of our info again. So we've put it in there in a nice concise way, but now we need to, out of that, get our seconds, our name, and our comment. So the way we do that, um, I'll create this little helper variable again, saying just record equals that iteration of data, and then we're gonna split it into seconds, name, and comment. Uh, just note that the seconds we need to convert to a number as this create marker method requires a numeric value to be inserted. Cool, and the rest is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, that we just do, we take our markers object and we say, hey, let's create a marker at this seconds, uh, which is this guy over here. Um, then it returns that actual marker object. So now we can say, hey, for that marker that we've just added, let's go and change its name to name. Uh, let's go and set the color index. And here I'm just doing my lookup based on my name. And then let's go and add some comments. Cool, so how does that look like? So here I have got, a sequence. I'm just going to go and clear those markers over there. Hit this guy. Boom. It's going to ask for our CSV. And there we go. So we've got good here. Well done at three seconds. Uh, not so good, bad, and maybe more green as we've got in here. So on the Automator Plus, we've got the, the very cool extension, the Automator Plus. Um, so this is, again is a very useful one that you can just go and add to the execute custom extend script. We go and paste all of this code in here. Um, we can then call it something like an import CSV. Let's call it CSV in the group like that. Um, and now the nice thing is if we were to go and alter this guy, so let's maybe make a few extra entries in here. Give this guy a 9 and an 11. Uh, bad and good, blah and blah, awesome. Uh, what we can do now is let's just create a new sequence for ourselves. 
if we actually hit this eye, that'll run, this will pop up this, we hit OK, and boom, 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 there we go. So now our new blah markers have also been added here. Nice and efficient. Thanks for watching our video. If you like what we're putting down on this channel, uh, hit like, hit subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications when we upload any new videos. Um, and if you want to support the channel, please head over to Envato and purchase any one of our extensions.